This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's all praise to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son and the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Abar. Next to me, I have Brother Daniela. And we're with the prophets of Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Okay. Um, so basically what you see on the screen here was a, is a video clip that I got off of the, um, the website BitChute. You got a website called BitChute and a website called Odyssey. I advise you, brothers and sisters, to go on those websites and, you know, just search up things like, you know, um, famines or shortages or, you know, anything, man. You know, I, a lot of worries that, you know, pretty, pretty much what, what those sites is, is those are websites where you can go to find things you can't post on YouTube. So when I went to when I went to screen record this video, come to find out, it um come to find out I couldn't get the um the um the audio, which, which, which is all fine because through, through the spirit of Yahweh Shai, we're gonna do is we gonna get the um what we gonna do is we gonna just just allow us to play in the back, you know, as like a as as if we can loop it. But I'm gonna tell you what he was saying in this video. So in this video, this man was saying that as of I believe it's January, I mean December eighth, mm -hmm. there's a deadline for a lot of truckers to have to have the the uh, V. Okay, and right now we already seen food shortages in these stores as it is. Okay, there's already a lot of food shortages. Okay, it's already a lot of um, you know um, you know uh, um, lacking of things in these stores and on these shelves. Which, if there's this thing does happen where they, you know, they, they try to, you know, force these truck drivers to get it, they're going to strike, okay, or they're not going to do it, and then eventually you're not going to have, you're going to have a shortage of more, even more shortage of truck drivers, okay, because there's already a shortage, which is just also going to lead to um, food shortages, man, more food shortages. So what you see in here on the screen is the stores trying to accommodate. The food shortages, so like y'all keep messing up. They're trying to accommodate the food shortages by putting cardboard with print with, with printed food on it, on um on the shelves. All right, they should try to stop the panic. Mm -hmm. Kind of like uh like mockery, mm -hmm. you know, but like uh like like a soft mockery in a way, man. You know what I'm saying? So like pretty much they're fabricating the famine, man. They're, mm -hmm. fabric they're fabricating it just so they can get rid um rid of us, man. Especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, because really, you know, they have they have the food, they have all the resources, uh -huh. but they're holding things back. You know, they're stopping you know ships at at at, at, at the uh, ports and stuff. You know, they're they're man manufacturing this thing, man. Because ultimately, they want total control, and the best way to do that is you got people that's not trying to submit, people that's not trying to bow down to the system. So the best thing this man can do is say, okay, well, well we're going to make it where you're going to need us more than we're going to need you. That's right. And when you need us more than we need you, we're going to tell you the solution for your problems is this V, okay? And which is going to ultimately be that Karagma, which is the MOTB, okay? The, and this is where this is going, man. All right. Well, go ahead, brother. Con, uh, um, if I may add, you know, the B system is going to be all over the world. So, like, uh, if you go into the word of the word called... Uh, Total, uh, totalitarianism all right they want full control of the of the government of, of all governments you know within their region first but they also want to have full control of other regions mm -hmm. you know like under the nato and the eu so and like uh you know all these vassal states that's connected to um america you know and um and um and, and israel so they want full control of the entire world and uh, you know and for the world to submit to their system Mm -hmm. All right, so they want totalitarianism. They want full control. That's you right. Know what I'm saying? That's right. And they were willing to, to get that by any means, man. You know, this man has a diabolical plan in store. That's and it's already in play, man. You know, it's already in play. If you got the eyes to see and the ears to hear, that you that you can see and you can hear where this is going, man. You know, they're gonna pretty much you know seek to starve you out. And their ultimate goal is what you see on the Georgia Guidestones is to bring down the population. Absolutely. All right, so, hey, man, this is all just gearing up to what? They're showing you that the, the end of Esau's kingdom 
is on the rise and you know jacob's kingdom is coming right after that man you know as, as this place falls as this place crumble as this place is destroyed we got next man come that's right go ahead come so you want me uh like continue the second Ezra's no, jump just up? jump up brother come so jump up with verse seven mm -hmm. so second Ezra chapter six verse seven then answered i and said what shall be departing asunder of the times mm -hmm. so what shall be the dividing Okay, the separation of this time from 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 the time to come, which is the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is what what we're starting to see. We're starting to see a change in um the the, the uh, times, man. Oh man, as you see on the screen right here, it got a clip from the movie called The Interview, where um it's like, it was like a comedy movie, but it showed you Seth Rogen and James Franco, and um and they pretty much went to north, north to North um North Korea, and then the store. This movie came out two thousand fourteen. and People was was wondering, you know, what what a, a country got to be going on in the country for them to have fake food in their stores, and this is what we're starting to see in America now, man. You know, fake food in the stores because what they're trying to do is they're trying to stop the panic. Okay, they're trying to make you think that things are still going as normal. This is why 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 they want you to put your mind into a metaverse, okay, to keep you from reality because the reality the reality is very bleak. You, know, you got that movie Ready Player One. Oh man, that's a good movie. Where good example. the whole the whole Earth was 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 pretty much living in a um the whole Earth was was pretty much living in a um in a uh you know a a, a, a false reality, mm -hmm. okay, um a, a, a augmented reality, but the reality is that the life that, that you know real life was actually horrible it was disgusting you know there was little, little living in like these little ghetto slums you know but whenever they turned on a little game or whatever you know the little system the the, the, the little vi uh, virtual reality thing it was like there was in you know times past or you know um the best place they wanted to be man you know it was, it was like there was in paradise whenever they turned on the, the video game and this is what this devil want he's trying to make life around you a total hell then he wants you to put your face in a screen or some goggles to act to act like it's not total hell so you can be a, a complete surf man okay a complete submissive slave and also they showed that in the movie upgrade where everyone had them headsets in the room mm -hmm. you know like uh yeah everyone was living in a false reality and uh, within the headsets as well and then like when the people were looking for the man with the uh with the upgraded chip they were taking out the heads they said hey hey wake up wake up wake up you know mm -hmm. because they were living in a false reality within the headsets yeah they show that in the movie upgrade mm -hmm. if, you, if they um like if you ever get the chance to see it again you know uh you know watch it again and you will see that part so all, all right. right all right verse seven didn't answer i said didn't answer i and said what shall be the parting of Sunday of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? Mm -hmm. So the end of the first kingdom and the beginning of it that follows. And we are seeing the beginning stages of this, man. You know, if there's no food, people cannot survive. You know, this shows you, this is a sign that this place is on, is on its way out, man. Great death and destruction is coming. Go ahead. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, and when, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. So Jacob is symbolic for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Indians. We are Jacob, okay? And we were holding on the hand of Esau, which is the so-called white race, man. And right now, they are the ones in power. But as they're falling out of power, a that symbolic of, of, of Jacob holding Esau's heel is showing, symbolically showing that we're going to go right into power right after they, as they go out of power. We're going to be going right into power, man. You see, so 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 this is a good, um, you know, it's 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 bad news for the world, especially the people up the people of this world. But for us, this is good news because we see that our is this kingdom is falling, our kingdom is forming, man. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Mm -hmm. So Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And right now, we are witnessing the end of <clears throat> Esau's world, man. You know, the end, at the end of Esau's world, if you can't feed a people in, in, in your land, then soon you won't have a land. You know, that you won't have a people. You know, and eventually those people are going to rise up and come, you know, to rend your neck, man. You know, so this is, we're, we're, we're witnessing the very beginning stages of the end of Esau's kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. Verse 22, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, the, the full, uh, the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. That's what we're seeing now. 
You know, you may go into a store and from afar off, it look like this, the shelves are, are full, like everything all good. Then you go closer to it and they, and, and they pull them back, you know, um, sh um, shelves. Okay, and it's or you 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 go to grab a, a damn carrot or orange and 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 it's, it's plastic or it's cardboard, man. All right, showing you that, you know, you don't you know you people thought you was in good case, man. You know you you think yourself to be in a good case. In reality, this place is over, man. It's through. You see, whatever they're, what they're going to start doing is they're going to start liquidating all these stores, mm -hmm. getting all getting getting everything up out of there, and then they're going to you know turn these stores into straight FEMA camps, man. Huh. You know. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Mm -hmm. And that's what people are starting to realize, man. They starting to see that, you know, times are getting bleak, you know, and people are going to start to panic, man. Right now they're still in la la land a little bit, so they, you know, they, you know, they act like they don't see it. You know, they got this false, you know, sense of um, security that America is going to go back to normal, and going to be okay, but they're going to, you know, <laughs> you, you are really mistaken. At the time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, mm -hmm. and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. So the earth shall stand in fear, man. And you said friends shall fight one against another like enemies. Mm -hmm. Now, what can make a, a friends fight like enemies, man? You, you got to be in, in a dire situation to where it's going to be, you know, <laughs> where you, you, you can turn against your own friends. Huh. You see, then and, and that's the time we're coming into. The love of many shall wax cold because of what there's going to be people out here trying to kill each other. You know, over food, man. You know, a pack of noodles, a, a bottle of water. You know, you see somebody got food, you know, you, you know, you're going to be thinking about killing that person, man. Come on. You know? Yeah, and uh, the um, movie examples like The Divide, you know what I'm saying? When everyone got into the bunker, uh, like when a nuclear explosion like went off, another movie is uh, uh, The Belko Experiment. Mm -hmm. Right, like you know, everyone in the office were like good friends, and they liked each other, and then they were put into a predicament where everyone had to kill each other, and only one person can survive. There was like over over ninety people in that building, and, it, and it, um, people had to kill each other, man. That's right, calm, oh, man. And when, hey, man, when, when food is involved, when 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 your basic lively necessities involved, you're going to see these 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 what you thought were people become straight animals, man. Oh. You know, they're already animals, but they're going to become straight animals. You know, it's going to be every man for himself. Mm -hmm. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. All right? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much uh, the water system, like the city water will, will, uh, will like, stop. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be anyone there to uh, clean up the water mm -hmm. or, 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 or run the plant, of, like, for the city water. So all the waters are going to stop. So when you flush the toilet, it's not going to it's not gonna flush properly. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? All these things out here, it's going to stop running, man. Yeah, it's going to be dry, man. You know, you ain't, ain't going to be able to take, take a shower. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the basic things that we, you know, take for for, 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 for granted now, you know, you, you're going to be longing for it in that day, man, to be able to take a shower, to wash your face, wash your hands. You know, they showed you the movie, The Book of Eli. Mm -hmm. You know, he had to use cat oil, you know, um, to pretty much, you know, lubricate his lips. You know, you know, you got to get... um. Um, chapstick or whatever. If we say lips don't get chapped, he had to use cat oil for his lips, man. All right. So even as the simple thing as chapstick is going to be a, a necessity in that day, man. God. You know the things that we take for granted is going to be, um, you know what, what we what, what we need the most. And this is why why, why we you know t we, we we took the time out to seek you out, Bashim Yasha, and serve him because the Lord said, "My servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry." Mm -hmm. You know all you other people that, that that took this thing for a joke, took this thing for for granted. You know made mockery of the men of the Lord. You gonna have hell to pay, man. You gonna have a, a, an extreme hell to pay, and there's nothing that you'll be that you'll be able to do to get, to, uh, get out of it, man. Come. But as for the men of the Lord, we're gonna be protected. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be, look, we, you know, Lord gonna look out for us, you know. So you know, we ain't gonna have to worry about starving to death or or, or, or these um, food shortages because the Lord said that we are gonna have all these things in abundance. That's right. That's right. You that fear the Lord, hope for good. Mm -hmm. All right. Verse twenty five. Whosoever remaineth from all these, uh, all uh, of all these. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of the world. That's right. No, it says, and the end of your world. And end of your world. So there you go. So, the, so, so we, we are going to see the end of uh, the salvation and the end of, uh, of this world, man. Because this world we're living in right now, at one point in time, this was all that we knew. Before we came into this truth, before we knew there was anything else besides this, this was all that we knew, man. You know, so, hey, the Lord is about to end this world, man. Mm -hmm. 
You know, the world as the world as we know it, it's about to be destroyed. And the Lord has, has gave 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 us the heads up. He has gave us the rundown and told you this is about to happen. So you know, do this so that you can Lord willing be saved from it, man. You know, and that's a blessing. All right. Count of one. That's a blessing, man. You know, hey, you just go to show you that, you know, this thing is about to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until ultimately it's just gonna be unbearable, man. You know, they whatever they they're, they're planning to starve you people out so that you could just, so that you would just give in and submit. You know, and this is why we we have been telling you you're gonna need your whole bashim out shy. Without your whole bashim out shy, ain't nobody gonna make it, man. You know, right. if you don't have the Lord on your side, you're not gonna make it. You can forget about it. God, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter six, verse eleven. Does say the Lord Yahweh smite with thine hand and stamp with thy foot and say, Alas for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel. For they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. Mm -hmm. So all you jakes that they want to get right, they want to repent, you know, you're going to fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. Man, the sword is a modern-day gun where Esau coming with his female troops, his Gurkha troops, and they start, you know, running shit down, you know, kicking in your door, coming like a flood. Okay, the, the uh, famine means a lack of food, a lack of bread, which we're going into. You know, you're going to think it's all peaches and cream. It's all good. Oh, I don't got a woe. Oh, when the Lord, you know, you know, Jake scoffing and mocking and thinking that the Lord ain't coming no time soon because they go into these stores and they, and they think these stores full. Oh, I don't, yeah, no, the store is still full. You tripping. And you get a look a little closer and it's cardboard, man. And this is how fast it's going to hit you, man. It's going to be wild, You man. know, this is how fast, this is how hard it's going to hit, man. Come Verse 12, he that is far off shall die of the pestilence. Mm -hmm. And he that is near shall fall by the sword. Mm-hmm. And he that remaineth and is besieged shall die by the famine. So he that remaineth is besieged. So you fall if you if you able to escape the escape the pestilence, you don't you don't get that that diseases or sick, you know, because that that's gonna be going on too. People gonna be dying from that. Or you able to escape the sore, you able to find a place where you can hide, you know. Hey man, he gonna he gonna starve the death, man. You know, and that's one of the worst deaths. It's better to take a bullet than to starve the death, man, because your body literally eats itself from the inside out. You Come know, and this is what we're about to see on a large scale in America, man. Come on a great scale, you about to see a, a mass hunger, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I got some vi some, some pictures of, 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 you know, bodies uh, skeletized. But I don't know if I don't want to play it, man, because, you know, this video is already, um, you know, on that borderline of what Esau might, might take down. Lord willing, he don't. But this is going to show you, man, how serious this thing is about to get. If you can't see it by now, it's because you're about to be in it. Thus will I thus will I accomplish my fury upon them. Mm -hmm. So all those things that the Lord has mentioned, man. Um, he said, uh, you know, he mentioned Israel, man. So is, he's going to start out the house first, according to First Peter chapter four verse seventeen. He's going to start out at the uh, at the house of Israel first, man. And mm -hmm. then those who know the truth, and then those who don't know the truth, you know what I'm saying? And those who know the truth will be beaten by many stripes, and those who don't know will be will be beaten with less stripes, mm -hmm. all right? But they're still going to suffer, man, for all these plagues. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. The sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. That's, that's what the Lord come with. So when you, Jake's talking about, oh, yeah, love, 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 they, remember, remember that scripture, man. The Lord said that he coming to bring sore, famine, death, and destruction on this earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and all we're doing is warning you. We just, Lord's mouthpiece, giving you a heads up, telling you, you know, what what would be in your best interest. And when, when, when whether you hear or forbear, our job is done, man. That's right. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. And that's what I was saying earlier, man. It's better to die of, you know, a gunshot wound. You know, to be slain with a sword makes him, you know, maybe somebody stab you in the, in the stomach, you know, and you bleeding out slowly. You know, that, that, that that's better than dying of hunger and, and bleeding and, 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 and starving to death slowly, man. You know, because that takes going to take a while and you're going to be in agonizing pain. You're going to start hallucinating. You know, the Lord going to have where you're going to have a lot of you people, especially you, you damn niggas that was celebrating Thanksgiving mm -hmm. proudly as hell. Um, You know, a, a, a couple of days ago. After you already knew you weren't supposed to be celebrating that shit. If you if you if the a brother or sister already told you that we weren't supposed to be celebrating that, and you say I'm gonna go celebrate anyways, you made a mockery and try to, you know, scoff and mock, you know, mm, in the name of Jesus. Hey, well, y'all you niggas, man, you niggas gonna starve to death, man. The Lord talks said you you you, 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 you go you, you gonna you gonna pine away, man. You know, where 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 your bones are literally gonna go gonna start to show. 
you know. And this happened in the past, and it's gonna happen again. You had um, accounts of you know people eating their 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 babies and Come. eating their 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 own, their own flesh. Come. You know. Come verse ten. The hands of the pitiful women have sodden their own children. The hands of the pitiful woman. You know, are you all you women that's you know loud and arrogant and boastful and oh oh it's gonna happen to me. You know, all you women that, that that is proud of coming against the men of the Lord. Hey, you are gonna be sodden. Um, you gonna going to sodden your children, mm -hmm. which means to boil them, man. Gone. You know, you are gonna be cooking your own children. You got you. That's why you. That's why you see. You know, all these young women having babies and stuff. Why? Why? Hey, why do you think that is, man? That's judgment about to get. Uh, you see, all these people having babies. As judgment is about to get brought upon this earth, it's because a lot of these, you know, nigga, these niggas ain't, yeah, man, it's gonna, it's gonna get bad out here, man. Gone. You put the pieces together, you oh, put the Lord. pieces together, man. The Lord got a judgment for you know you you, you two thirds, which really you know goes back to when when our Lord was walking the earth, you know. So he he may have your ass starving to death, you know, have you eat your child, you know, whatever it could be, man. The Lord is about about is about to show his power and his might in this earth, man. And it's going to be a, something that you could never even imagine. Come. That's wild, man. Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Mm -hmm. So because iniquity shall abound, because all this wickedness is going to be going on this earth and is going on this earth. The love of many shall wax cold. Man, nobody going to care about, about the neighbor. Ain't, 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 ain't nobody going to be holding no doors open for, 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 for you damn women. Okay. It's going to be hey, a, a, a dog eat dog world, man. Everybody gonna be for themselves, man. If, if, you, if, you, if you're not beneficial to somebody, they, hey, they don't want, they ain't gonna want nothing to do with you, man. And if they got food, you know, they're gonna be trying to ration that food out and save it for themselves. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't gonna be trying to give you nothing. You know, it, 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 it ain't gonna be no more good Samaritans and, you know, good guys, man. It's gonna be a bunch of, you know, ruthless, wild, barbarous as, you know, spirits out here, man. And this is why we're telling you, Jace, to get right, because hey, at the end of the day, you don't wanna be at the mercy of these Edomites or a two third nigga in that day, man. You know, you're going to need Yahweh by Shem Yashah to deliver you out of these situations. So in order to, to get that mercy, in order to, to get that salvation, you know, you should, it, it, this, this is the time to seek him, man. Said, call upon him and seek him while he is not, because the days shall come when you shall not be able to find him, man. You know, so when you when you walk through, throughout, throughout your, your towns and your cities and you see those men, the prophets out there pushing that word, man, you know, you should be coming up, you should be acquiring. Last week, last, um, week at camp, we had a woman come up who appeared to be Edomites. Probably, I believe she was a Jake. And she asked, are we in the end time? Simple question. Came up. She ain't playing no games. You know, she wasn't, you know, trying to, you know, make a big disturbance. You know, she came up. She was real quiet. She asked a serious question. She said, are we in the end times? We said yes. And she loved one by her day. And, you know, boom. Now she knows what time we in, man. You know, she knows what spirit to, 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 to be in at this point. But, 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 but you damn niggas, man. You couldn't see it if it was in your face, man. Gone. You couldn't see it. You couldn't see it if, if, if it was, you know, glued to your hand. You couldn't see it, man. If it was glued to your eyelids, you couldn't see, you know, your eyeballs, you couldn't see it. And that's why the Lord said that he's only coming for a remnant, man. Blessed are your eyes and your ears for, for, for you see and you can hear, but they can't see and they can't hear, man. You know, the Lord ha ha has a controversy with Israel. And really, you know, he, 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 he wants to see the majority of our people get judged. You know, the majority of our people have to be judged. You got Jake out there talking about it's for the nation, the nation. The Lord is coming to judge the majority of this nation, man. Majority of our nation is too far gone. You know, you better hope and pray that you are not a part of that of that nation that's going the part of that nation that's going to be destroyed. Because as the scripture says, two thirds, two thirds is bigger than one third. That's right. He's only coming to save a remnant, man. So you got to be doing what everybody else ain't doing. You know, if you just around here, you know, partying and clubbing and doing following the masses, you know, everybody going to get the V, you going to get the V. You know, that means when everybody else get destroyed, you gonna be getting destroyed with them, man. You know. Oh, man. You know, as the scripture says in uh, Exodus 23 and 2, follow not, uh, uh, a multitude to do evil. Con, con. Mm -hmm. Con, so that shall not follow a multitude to do evil, man. So, you know what I'm saying? And don't entangle yourself from the affairs of this life as well. So mm -hmm. you got to fight the good fight of faith and abstain yourself. Remove yourself vanity and lies, man. And keep your life simple, man. You know what I'm saying? Give me probably no riches and give me food convenient for me. You know what I'm saying? And then in the other half is to do the will, man. That's right. You know? So as the scripture says in Sirach chapter 17, verse 25, return to the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. All right? You know? Like, uh, I love them that love me. Those who seek me early shall find me. So mm -hmm. this is the perfect time to seek after the Lord at the best of your ability. You know what I'm saying? And those who are seasoned within this truth, 
you know what I'm saying? And you feel a little low in the spirit, man, um, like continue to fight back, man. That's right, that's right. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, uh, you know, figure out a game plan, you know, with you and the Akim or, or just mainly the, you and the Lord, man, so you can have time to regain yourself in the spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's only going to get harder. You know what I'm saying? So all these things that we mentioned in this class, man, it's going to happen within our lifetime. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to, you know, one day we're going to go to your local grocery store or corner store and the prices are going to go up. All right? So, yeah, like everything is going to go up, man. You know, a gallon of milk is going to be 20 bucks. You don't see the gas prices go up to um, like 2 to $7. It's going to be wild, man. And people are going to go crazy. Mm -hmm. You know? So what's, you know, like, so what's going to happen when these prices go up? People are going to what? End up stealing things. They're going to you know what I'm saying? They're going to just raid into stores and take what they want. And that's already mm -hmm. happened. That's already happened. They said they, they got something called um, um, mass theft, you know, where you got eight, um, um, 80 people getting together online and going to, into these major malls and major stores and just doing flash mob um, stealing, man. You know, and they're stealing, you know, you know, jewelry and, you know, Louis Vuitton and shit, all this, you know, um, clothes and shoes and and, and 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 really all that shit is vanity right now you know but how much more in that and it's they have down becoming it just shows you that you know pretty soon people gonna be taking what they need not what they want they're gonna be taking what they need man you know food water you know gasoline whatever it could be man and they were they're gonna be willing to do whatever they, whatever they got to do to get it you know it's gonna be wild out here too like people with like you know like fancy uh gadgets and cars and stuff they're gonna be selling it for dirt cheap, just so, just so they can feed their family for a night or two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw a video. I got to do. I was gonna do a video on it too, of, of a couple at um, you know, out to eat. Those they had, they had a jewelry on. Those huh. dressed all nice. Can I seen that? And a guy came up to them at gunpoint, man, at the restaurant, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and pretty much robbed them at gunpoint at the restaurant as they sitting at the table eating. Mm -hmm. You know, he left and they had to sit there and and try to figure out how they're gonna pay, pay that bill, man. Come. Huh. You know, we ain't in the time for fun and games. We ain't in the time for party and bullshit, man. We ain't in the time of being closer to the most high and, and and to be having your eyes open so that you don't so Lord willing, you don't be destroyed, man. Come on. And you know, it's like for these um for these places to be going this far, you know, looking at to be printing out cardboard boxes with, you know, carrots and oranges on it to make it seem like you got food there, it just shows you how bad it's getting, man. You can't see it by now, man. It's because you're gonna be in it, man. That's this, this, this is the, the beginning of great sorrows, man. Great death and great destruction. Come, on. wow, man. Come, on, man. So, hey, man. Like, hey, these things are coming within our lifetime, man. And whether you like it or not, man, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse for every single. Uh, it's gonna get worse for every single individual here on Earth, man. So, as the scripture says. Uh, let me grab it real quick. Second Ezra 15. While you grab that, I got this. Come um, This is Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. Put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall come, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in a day of vengeance, you know. So don't don't take your time trying to come back to the Most High. Don't take your time trying trying to get this word, man. Because yeah, you might say, "Oh, well, I ain't gonna worry about that. I got food. I got food. Uh, 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 you know, we good over here. We good over here. Okay, yeah, you got might got food now. Okay, but what happens when all that food run out? When you eat all that food, or even more so, when somebody come knocking on your door or kicking in your door, I should say, to take that food, man. You know, that, that's for, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And that's going to be the wrath of the Most High. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. The Lord going to have, you know, m m m many ways to die for you re wicked, rebellious niggas who thought you were smarter than the Lord, man. Thought you could, you know, was at camp um, on Saturday and you had some young girls come up. And we was telling them, you know, the, 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 the reality, the outcome that they're in. And then, you know, one girl started joking around about grabbing the blicky, you know. And it's like, hey, you like, know, th this is real life, man. You know, this is real life. You, 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 you ain't no, ain't no grabbing no blicky. And even if you did, you know, you don't have enough bullets, man. You know, that's right. It says, um, and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. So you don't want to wait till, you know, yo, 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 a day come 
when you least expect it, you know, the Lord gonna, gonna, gonna get you in your security, man. You know, you know, you might be in your last cookie, thinking it's all good. I got this last cookie left, man. I ain't gonna starve to death. You know, and Lord, you know, may, may make your ass choke on that last cookie, man. You know, the Lord has, has, has things in store, man. You know, and that's why we, hey, he is to be feared. That's right. Uh, second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, mm -hmm. but shall destroy their houses with the sword, spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for the great tribulation. For the lack of bread, man. That's the first thing. So it's going to be a great tribulation going on. I mean, it's going to be complete chaos and hell going on already. But first thing is going to be because they're hungry, man, for a lack of bread. Because there ain't no food. People are going to be going to your house, you know, you know, them neighbors who you've been cool with for 20 years. All, you know, since, since you've been living at, 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 at your house, your neighbor been cool with you. All of a sudden, this person is going to be your worst enemy, man. Trying to break in your house and take, take your food and whatever you got, you know. E, 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 even your you, you, uh, wives and your daughters, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to get bad out here, man. People are going to be taking what they want, man. Yeah, anything, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like anything that's valuable to them in their eyes, they're gonna take it. Mm -hmm. You know, by force, or you're gonna hand it over, man. Yeah, they ain't asking for it. Come. So, come, man. Let me jump up. Uh, second Ezra 15, 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor prince. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So they ain't gonna be trying to hear with Biden and you know uh, mayor this and Senate this have to say about the situation. Hey, man, they gonna they gonna be you know doing what they gotta do, man. You, know, you hungry? You ain't waiting. You know we ain't waiting for the most stimulus checks, man. They gonna be gonna be taking it, man. You know you gonna say, oh wait, we, 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 no, don't do this, don't do that. You know keep you know people gonna be doing what they wanna do, man. You know it's coming to a complete lawlessness, anarchy. You know, a, 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 a horrific society, man. You people gonna wish that you had sought Yahweh by Shah in the time for coming to you, man. Come on, come on. Psalms 33, Psalms 33, verse 18. Behold, the eye of Yahweh is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Mm -hmm. All right? So the Lord is upon those who fear him, man, those who consider him, those who hope in his mercy. All right, you that fear the Lord, hope for good. All right, and it says to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Lord wants to keep your soul from death. All right, mm -hmm. because this, because the way this world is set up, it's not for our destruction, but it's for our learning. You mm -hmm. know, we're here to learn uh, of the good and evil here on earth. Yahweh desired that we're part of the, uh, you know, like part of the elect number of, uh, like of the hundred forty-four thousand. All right. Mm -hmm. It says to deliver. Uh, it says to deliver, to deliver their soul from death, and to keep them alive in famine. That's right. So if we fear the Lord, you know, and you and and you consider the Lord and you do His will, the Lord said He will keep you alive in famine. So you're gonna see a lot of people die, you know, their stomach touching their back, man. And while and and, and, and while all that's happening, people killing each other. The Lord's feeding you, the whole entire time, keeping you mm -hmm. alive in famine. All right, so we're going to see the end of Esau's world, you know, Lord's will, and we're going to see everything and then some. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you brothers and sisters that believe in this thing going to know because you're going to see the Lord's favor over you versus everybody else, man. Mm -hmm. It's say that death is, um, that, that death shall be on, on, on your right and, and, and your left, you know, and, and, and the thousands, man. And, you know, you're going to know that the Lord has favor and loves you because, you know, it's not, not going to come nigh thee. You know, he said, "No, the pestilence shall not come nigh, nigh thy dwelling." You know, con, con. That's in Psalms uh, ninety-one, I believe. Uh, con, grab your last piece of the great, great close out. Con, con. Alrighty. No, I can't find it, but uh, come. But that's an on that for me, man. Con. So there you go, man. You know, um, all through the spirit of whole bunch of y'all shy. You know, the, the, the Lord willing this be an edifying warning. To the old full elect, man, you know, get your spirits right, you know, get closer to the most high, Yahweh Bajim El Shai, as you should be, should have been doing, you know, because it's about to get nasty out here, man. You know, it's about to get, you know, uh, uncomfortable. And in that, you know, we, we're going to continue to serve Yahweh Bajim El Shai, no matter how bad things get. And, you know, pray that he have mercy upon us and that we know that that, that we find that we find mercy in this day. 
you know, this is, and this is all true. Why, 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 why we do these works, you know, um, Lord, when it's edifying and hopeful elect, the water you help by showing your spirit, mm -hmm. giving us the spirit to do these lessons. Okay. With that being said, we're gonna say shalom. Shalom. Ababa ba ba, kwame ashirala. DTA. Soon.